So what exactly does a knife steel do? What are these things and why do they exist? Well, today I'm gonna to show you what these things do, what they don't do, why I think these things are completely outdated technology, and show you a much better option to fix the problem that these only temporarily solve. These things don't do what most people think they do, and it needs to stop. Now the thing I'm referring to here is something called a knife steel or a non-abrasive honing rod. These things are not knife sharpeners. Sharpen it before and every time you use it. They contain no abrasive qualities whatsoever. They're actually made from steel and designed to do one thing, which is to straighten rolled edges. We well, see, this isn't entirely true. Now what is a rolled edge, you may ask? Well, let me show you. Now in order to show you what a rolled edge is and what it isn't, we've got to start with a sharp knife. So we sharpened it on a 400 grit diamond stone, created a burr, and here's what that looks like. Now I'm showing you this for context. This is what a burr looks like at extreme magnification. I got some new equipment that allows us to get even closer than even some microscopes. And for some more context, this is a single strand of hair. And this is a ballpoint pen, or part of it. Now this is only about half of the magnification I have available to me now, but at these higher magnification ratios, things start to become unrecognizable. Sort of like looking at something from two inches away. I have absolutely no idea what this is. So now we're just gonna minimize the burr by doing some alternating light passes on the stone. And then to fully refine our 400 grit edge, we went on to a fresh three micron diamond strop. And here's the edge after the burr has been removed and the hair for reference. Notice the reflection of the hair on the blade. Now the standard definition you'll hear of what knife honing steels do and why they're typically used in kitchens is this. Kitchen knives are more prone to edge rolling since they're typically ground very thin. And a thin apex is more prone to rolling over when coming into contact with things like a cutting board, bone, other kitchen utensils, a stainless steel cooktop, etc. Hence the need for a honing rod in order to quickly straighten that rolled edge back out. Now this sounds good on the surface, but the problem is, is that it's not actually what's happening. Let's take a look, do some experiments, and see what's going on. So to get started, let's create a true rolled edge. Now I'm artificially rolling the edge here on a piece of copper pipe. This is perfect for rolling the edge without creating damage to the apex. And even though this is a $1 knife from the dollar store and ground very thin, it does take quite a bit of pressure to roll over this edge. Indeed, someone would have to work very hard to roll this $1 knife edge. More on this in a minute. Here's what that rolled edge looks like up close. On the surface, it sort of looks like a burr, and I think that this is where the confusion comes in. You'll often hear people talk about straightening the burr on the edge of the knife using a knife steel or honing rod. This is not a burr. This is actually the apex bent over. In comparison, you'll see that a burr is much more irregular and rough looking, as opposed to the nice clean bent over apex. And this is the rolled edge from the other side. And you can see where the apex transitions from straight to rolled. So now that we have a rolled edge, this is where something like a knife steel or honing rod comes into play. Because ideally, if we could re-straighten that bent over apex, our knife will be sharp again without going through the entire sharpening process. Now the correct way to use this is to use edge trailing strokes on the honing rod. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do edge trailing strokes and we're gonna see if we can re-straighten the roll. A lot of times you'll see people doing this super fast and that does nothing. I'll show you this in a minute. So after a handful of passes on the honing rod and without even going to our extreme magnification, we still have quite the edge roll on the apex of this knife. 
So as you can see from our first attempt at using the honing rod knife steel, uh, we didn't actually do anything. So this is after a handful of light passes, just like you see everybody doing on TV. And it looks like it completely destroyed the apex. Essentially, we did nothing using this. Now let's adjust our technique and see if anything changes. So rather than light passes, like you see everybody doing, we're gonna increase the pressure and do some heavy backward passes to see if we can get enough pressure here to re-straighten the rolled edge. Now, before I do this, keep in mind that in order to roll the edge in the first place, took quite a bit of pressure on that copper pipe. It took a lot of pressure for me to roll that apex over. Now, all things being equal, theoretically, in order for me to re-straighten that apex, that same amount of pressure is gonna have to be applied in order to straighten that apex back out. So let's try to use some pretty high pressure on this and see if we can get that to work. So after a little bit more uh, aggressive passes, you can see our apex is starting to look a little bit odd. And here's what the apex looks like. And as you can see, it is not pretty. It is completely destroyed. So what exactly is going on here and why isn't this thing working to straighten a rolled edge? Now over the past several weeks I have used this thing in every single way that I can possibly think of. I've tried to use it with light pressure, I've tried to use it with heavy pressure, I've even tried to go super fast like you see on TV. A non-abrasive honing rod will not straighten a true rolled edge. In fact, it actually damages a true rolled edge even worse than it already is. So that is sort of what your rolled edge looks like. Now, here is the surface of the knife steel. This is the honing rod, right? You have your grooves here. So what's gonna happen, and I'm asking this and I'll show you this in a second, when this nice fine point here comes into contact with the steel at this point right here. Well, it doesn't do pretty things. Case in point. Now clearly people have been using these forever and swear that they do in fact work, which means that I'm wrong. No, it just means that there's a lack of understanding on what these actually do and the terminology. Now, as I explained earlier in this video, there is a difference between a burr and a true rolled edge. A non-abrasive honing rod or honing steel like this one will not straighten a true rolled edge, at least not without other bad things happening like completely destroying the apex in the first place. What these will do is straighten a burr, and that is where the problem with these arise. Sharp, right? You keep using the horse. I don't know think it means what you think it means. So what I'm gonna do here is put a burr back on this knife. We'll bend it over doing something and then we will re-straighten it using the honing rod. So this is the burr straight off of the sharpening stone. And you can see a little red mark at the bottom of the picture and that lets me know that I'm looking at the exact same spot on the blade every single time, just as a reference. So we've put our burr back on the knife and I have a piece of hardwood here. This is actually hickory. A lot of cutting boards are made out of hardwood. And what we're gonna do to sort of mess up this burr is we're just gonna let it come in contact with some hardwood. So this is actually really interesting. This is what that burr looks like after hitting it on our replica cutting board for maybe two dozen times or so. It literally looks like it's rolled over on itself. So now what we're gonna do, now that we have our burr somewhat folded over, is we're simply gonna do a couple of light alternating passes to straighten that burr back out. And here we go. And again, very interesting because it looks like, it literally looks like the edge has been unrolled or straightened. And I think that this is exactly where that sort of myth comes from, that these sharpening steels straighten a rolled edge. But what it's actually straightening is the burr. You see, a properly sharpened knife should have the burr completely removed in the first place. There shouldn't be a burr on the knife 
for this thing to even straighten. And again, back to our original properly sharpened apex with the burr removed. This is what your edge should look like. So what these actually do is temporarily fix a problem that shouldn't exist in the first place. Now, I've actually done a video on this, which I'll leave a link to up here somewhere. I'm not sure which side it's going to pop up. That shows the difference between a knife cutting with the burr and one that is cutting with the burr properly removed. And the difference is staggering. We are talking about hundreds, if not thousands of times greater edge retention cutting with a knife that's had the burr properly removed in the first place. So let's repeat the same test again with a properly sharpened knife. We'll resharpen this, we'll properly remove the burr, and then smash it into some wood to see if there's a difference. And here's our sharpened knife with the burr properly removed. The knife is indeed sharp, whittling a hair, no problem. Now smashing it into our cutting board block like we did before, rocking the blade back and forth to make sure I did indeed contact the exact point we did before. And I did this a whole bunch of times. Okay, maybe a little more than two dozen times. And boom, here it is after. It basically looks like nothing happened to it. Zero difference, and it's still hair whittling sharp. What's happened here is that these were invented before we really had an understanding of what was truly going on at the knife apex. And people didn't have the technology available to them, or maybe the experience, to know how to properly remove a burr, or that there was even such a thing as a burr in the first place. So what's a good alternative to the honing steel? I'd recommend either a cheap $20 diamond stone like this one, or if you want to stick with the same theme, you can get an abrasive honing rod. An abrasive honing rod works in exactly the same way, only it contains an abrasive, either a diamond or ceramic. Or if you want to stick with the tried and true diamond stone, these can be used in exactly the same way that you use a knife steel. It's literally the exact same motion. Using an abrasive stone or honing rod in the exact same way that you would use a steel like this will not only help reduce and remove the unwanted burr, but will also be capable of fixing a true rolled edge. So I went back and rolled the edge again using the same copper pipe method that I used previously. I then used my $20 diamond stone and made 10 light passes per side in the same manner that I would make using a knife steel. So again, here's what that edge roll looks like, and then after the 10 passes on the diamond stone, we get a nice, clean, burr-free, roll-free apex. Very easy to do, and just as fast as using a knife steel honing rod. So my advice as a professional knife maker and knife sharpener is that if you find yourself having to use one of these, you really need to go back and properly sharpen your knife. These will not straighten a true rolled edge. What these will do is straighten a burr that should have been properly removed in the first place. Not only will properly sharpening your knife save you time in the long run, but it'll also save you an awful lot of aggravation. These will not straighten a true rolled edge. These will straighten a burr. And that is why as a professional knife maker and knife sharpener, prior to this video, I've never actually used one of these. And why going forwards, I never will again.